So the patient survives and the doctor quits. But, but Angela, I know you must have been scared, but you're looking at this whole thing the wrong way. You weren't here. I know I wasn't here, but you, from what you told me, you did everything right. Jesse, you have always been in my corner, and I love you for that. But this hey, is... Hey, hey, this is not about me being your biggest fan. This is about you doing what you had to do. Come on, you had a crisis in this house, for God's sake. You... You had a fire! A sick little girl? On top of that, you couldn't see? Come on, baby, you didn't panic. You took care of business. You took care of Miranda. You got the paramedics here. Now, to me, that says that's a good doctor doing everything she can to save her patient. Now, you throw in the towel, and where's that good doctor going to be when the next patient needs to be saved? Hey, hey. Hey, 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 where's Miranda? How is she? They're working on her. Working on her? What do you mean, working on her? They haven't told me anything yet, but she was breathing okay in the ambulance. Oh my god. Just just tell me where they have her. She's in a cubicle over there, but they, they're not gonna they're not gonna let you in. I already tried. Okay, the first thing I gotta do is figure out the best way into Liza's office and see which one this fits. You really think this could be it? Yeah, I mean David wouldn't have gone to all the trouble to hide this if it wasn't important. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get the evidence or this so-called evidence, and we're gonna use whatever we find to bury him. I just want him out of my life. And I know you'll be happy when this goes away, too. Don't worry about me. That's all I do, Ryan. Helping me has become a full-time job for you. Well, maybe I'm not only doing it for you. What do you mean? Well, I think a lot about that night. The night of the accident. I mean, I didn't exactly ride to your rescue that night, did you I? You can't blame yourself. Well, it's more like regret. I mean... Everything changed that night. Everything for me and for you. The old what could have been. <laughs> yeah. You think about that? Only a hundred times a day. Well, I was pretty lost. And I'm not making excuses for the mistakes that I made, but I... I really thought you were gone. I thought you had forgotten about me. Kind of a blow to a girl's self-esteem. I could never forget about you, Greenland. And then I married David. To hurt you. Well, that part worked. Kind of backfired on me, though. Whatever happened that night, whatever... It can't be undone, but... But maybe now we can set things straight. We can, we can really get you away from him. And if we do that, it'll help us both move on. Which is why I am as invested in this as you are. You know, whatever happens, you'll always have a special place in my heart. I want you to be happy. Ryan, I really do. So what happens now? Now I gotta figure out the best way to break into Liza's office, but remember, you you gotta keep... I know, I know. Pretending with David. And be careful, okay? Because he's not easy to con. He's gonna be watching you. Every every move, he'll, he'll be watching. I so. told you, Ryan, I'm an award winner. Meryl Streep couldn't con David better than I can. Okay, yes, you know, I, I almost forgot that, so... I do accents, musicals, really? whatever, you name it, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Accents. Could I hear one? Because I, I didn't know. I didn't know. What do you want to hear? I, how about uh, German?
kept her breathing. And if she had stopped... Well, thank God she didn't. But if she had, you'd have been able to perform CPR, right? Yes, I would have. Well, to me, that says you're still a doctor. No matter what happens to your eyes, baby, that'll never change. You have always been a smooth talker, Jesse Hubbard. Hey, no smooth talking going on here. I love you so much. Bam. Oh, my. Well, I know what that means. <laughs> yep, it's got reinstated. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> so listen, if I can get my job back, I'm sure we can figure out a way to keep yours. She may have a sore throat for a day or two, maybe some coffee. But no permanent damage. Your roommate got her downstairs and out of the smoke before anything really seriously could happen. Caleb, save me. Hmm. She's okay. Randa's gonna be just fine. Thank you, Doc. I'm sorry about before. Don't worry about it. You did a great job getting her out of there. Another minute of her inhaling that smoke and, well, she's going to be okay. Yeah. Thanks again. Thank you, Caleb. All I did was carry her down the stairs. Dr. Hubbard and his mom did the hard part. Well, I'm just, I'm glad you were there to save her. Dr. Forrest, dial 182. What is it? She'll go back in there with her. Miranda is fine. You helped save her life. It's over. Yeah. So I walked into that room and I saw Sonia. Me and Miranda lying there. He said, Sonia, who is Sonia? So the first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this key so that you can put the original back in its place in the drawer. So you're going to show up there? This party couldn't be happening at a better time. I'll show up there, make sure Liza and David see me, then I'm going to sneak out, get the evidence from Liza's office, so I'm going to bring it back to the party, and then you can confront him in front of everybody. Let him know that you're finally free of him, and he'll be powerless. To stop you. Right there, in the middle of the party. I like that. Like a celebration of my freedom. Like your own personal 4th of July. In September. Thank you, Ryan, for everything. Just hang on till tomorrow, okay? Then it's over. Liza. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, thank you very much. I think I actually needed to be scared to death. Oh, boy, okay, you look like hell. What's going on? It's not your problem. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that it might be. I think I'm being watched. By whom? Ryan. Kendall. Why would they be watching you? So they tried cozying up to me the other day to find out about my relationship with you. And my attorney. Yeah, well... What is there to find out? The whole thing felt a lot more personal than it did legal. Yeah, they somehow think that you're involved with something, and, and I'm somehow involved with you. Why would they think that? I don't think they actually said. But if you connect the dots, I'm sure that Greenlee's name fits in there somewhere. Did you tell them anything? Oh, yeah, sure. I told them the whole thing. No, I did not. I told them to back off. Okay, you know what? I'm actually glad that we're, we're having this discussion now, because I think that you and I need to reevaluate this relationship. You don't say. Well, so I'm trying to start a practice here, and with that, I need clients. And uh, being associated with you, not exactly the best calling card. No offense. None taken. Then fire me. <laughs> okay, I'm serious. I'm serious, too. Really, just like that? Yeah. Yeah, make it as public as you want. Okay, what's the catch? Don't insult me by telling me that there's not a catch, because I know with you there's always a catch. Well, let's just say that I have a feeling you're going to be moving on to much bigger things. And so will I. 